And here we are at the end of our physics-based interaction system. I want to say a massive thank you to my patrons and YouTube members for voting for this series and showing your support. It really is everything to me, so thank you so much. So in this final part, we'll be making a chest that we can open the lid like a clamshell and close again. So let's get started and wrap this up. So much like the other two, we're going to create another actor in here. And we'll call this one the chest. And in the chest, we're going to have one component, and that's going to be static mesh component. And we'll call this one the chest face. And we're going to search for the chest, and we'll do the blue one. Okay. We're then going to add another mesh, which is going to be the lid for it. So chest lid. And this can be painted to uh, the base. I'm going to change that to the blue lid. And we're going to get this into position. So we're just going to rise it up here and bring it back slightly. Okay. There we go. I think that's a good. Okay, so with the chest lid now in place, we want to add the constraint in. So go add component, look for the constraint. And there it goes. Now, as I said, you want like before in previous episodes, we want to change its location and settings to be able to respect its current position. So at the moment, it constrains it to zero, zero, zero. But if I move this up here, I want it to respect that later on. So it's very important we do that. So in the Z here, we can actually help this L uh, out with the Z here being close to zero. Let's make that zero. And the Y here uh, will make this uh, a little bit further back. And probably make that zero as well, actually. And this one, X could be zero too. Okay, I think that might actually be quite good. Okay, so now we have to do limitations. So we go to the constraint components and we're going to type in chest lid. And we're going to do chest base. And we're going to go down to disable collision, turn that off, I turn it on, sorry, and go down to angular limits. Now we have to set up the correct angle uh, motion. So we're going to lock each one and see which ones we want. So I've locked off swing one. And I can see now from the green one here that I need this to be the twist motion. I'm going to lock swing two and keep the twist open like so and make this limited. And the limit for this is going to be, uh, let's say, 60. And I want to rotate the offset of this off a little bit. So I'm going to rotate it in the uh, x-axis here by 60 and do minus 60. There you go. To get that position there looking like that. I'm going to go to chest lid to simulate physics. And then on class settings, we're going to add our interaction so we can interact with it. And in there, we're going to implement each one of these. The component goes into look at component, look actor, self and with this one call it open chest lid and go to interact with and just tick that on chest lid make sure it's set to simulate physics turned on which it is and let's put this into the world okay so let's see how this looks so there's the lid, I can click on it, and oh, I've rubbed it the wrong way, there you go, and there you go, one lid. Okay, and because they are physics based interactions, they can affect each other, so this thing here can close this lid as well. As as well as I can open the doors here and close them with this too. Just fine. Okay. So the final thing is to tweak and improve these a lot. So with the wardrobe doors, I'm going to increase the angular dampening on them so the rotation is softened. So we go to the wardrobe, go to the left door uh left door model, go to the constraint. Uh, sorry, the physics angular dampening here. And I'll put this at 0.5 or 
right door we'll put this at 0 0.5 these values typically range between 0 and 1 in here um, and we can see now the doors stay shut and as I open them up they're a lot more stiffer and that's it that brings us to the end of this mini series again thank you so much for watching and thank you for everyone who has donated and is supporting me over on patreon.com forward slash ryan laley over there if you become a patron you get access to all my videos months in advance before everyone else on youtube so thank you again so much make sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you all next time bye everyone